Dipanchu, did you know that the number of Indian students going abroad for masters is expected to rise to 1.8 million by 2024? Yes, I've heard that and uh, over the last few years, the UK has surely become a highly coveted and prime location for Indian students and that too with a success rate of 96% for study visa applications. Bro, even the USA is not that far behind. Did you know that more than 1.25 lakh student visas were issued in 2022? But let's accept it here. Giving a visa interview literally sucks. Agreed. And telling the interview how you are the perfect fit for the visa while you are shaking those legs and being anxious enough is not easy at all. Plus, what happens? It ends up getting rejected. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. And the most common reason that I have found behind the visa rejection is misleading information. And guys, if you're nervous about the upcoming student visa interview, well, don't be. Because in today's video, we'll be walking you through the process step by step and giving you the insider tips to help you ace your interview. So sit back, relax, because we have got you covered. Hi guys, my name is Suraj. And my name is Dipanshu. And we both are study abroad experts at MIMC and Mentomy. Or Harbar Ge Jaise. Aajvi Suraj is on the hot seat for a mock interview. Plus, today is also amazing because we are going to give student visa for Canada. My power is wrong, it's wrong, it's wrong, it's wrong, it's wrong. But before we begin the video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to MMSA to get all the latest study abroad updates. Hi Suraj, my name is Gunjan and today I will be taking your student visa interview. So let's begin. So, your first question is, what is the purpose of your visit to Canada? Well, I heard that maple syrup flows like a river in Canada. So I thought I'd come and swim in it. You know, for health reasons. And if I happen to learn a thing or two while I'm here, there's just a cherry on the top. So guys, let me give you a sample answer for this. The purpose of my visit to Canada is to pursue higher education at McGill University. I've been accepted into the MBA program and will be studying there for the next two years. I believe that this opportunity will provide me with the necessary knowledge and skills to achieve my academic and career goals. I'm also eager to immerse myself in the Canadian culture and make the most of this once in a lifetime experience. See, this was that simple. You just need to follow the basic structure and convey the correct information to the interviewer, like the school you're applying to and if you have won a scholarship. Okay, so my second question, why this college and why particularly MBA? Well, let me put it this way. I heard that getting an MBA from McGill University is like a golden ticket to success. Kind of like Willy Wonka's chocolate factory. And I'm a big fan of her. As well as chocolates. So I thought I should go for the MBA at McGill. Every time I'm going to go to the MBA at McGill. And I'm going to sit here and sit here. Let's go. Guys, your answer should be like this. I've chosen to pursue MBA from McGill University because of its reputation as one of the top ranked business schools in the world. The university's focus on innovation and entrepreneurship aligns with my career aspirations and I believe that the curriculum and resources offered at McGill will provide me with a comprehensive education in business and management. Furthermore, Montreal is a vibrant city with a diverse culture, landscape and I'm eager to immerse myself in this environment and to make valuable connections with my classmates and faculties. So guys, as you're watching this video so far, I'm definitely sure you're planning to study abroad. And if you want to target any of the top schools, you can book a free 20-minute starting session with us right now and let us help you with your study abroad journey and we will also help you with your SOPs, LORs, as well as student visa application. You can find the link in the description. Tell me why you want to study in another country instead of your homeland. Well, you see, I heard that studying abroad was like going on a treasure hunt. And I feel I am the right person for this. Plus, I wanted to step out of my home country as I was not feeling well over there. So yeah, that's it. What do I do? What do I do? To be honest, guys, please don't sound overconfident. Like Suraj. I hope you are able to understand how important this interview process is. You have to sound like a professional one. It doesn't seem like I was just thinking that I was going to study and I was going to study a little bit. There's a little trip. So guys, your answer should definitely be like this. I've chosen to study in Canada because of its well-established education system and its reputation for providing a safe and welcoming environment for international students, especially Indians. Canada is known for its inclusive culture, diversity and opportunities for personal and academic growth. I believe that studying here will provide me with a unique and valuable experience that I would not be able to get in my home country. And I'm excited for this opportunity. So guys, before we end this video, here are 5 tips and tricks to ace your student visa interview process. And this will tell Suraj himself, because he has learned it finally. Point number one, research the country you are applying for. Understand the visa requirements and be knowledgeable about the institution you are applying to. Point number two, honesty is the best policy. Be transparent about your purpose for studying abroad, your finances and your future plans. Point number three, confidence is the key in any interview. Speak clearly, make eye contact and demonstrate your passion for education and the culture of the country you are applying to. Point number four, 
focus on answering the questions that are relevant to the purpose of your study and the country's immigration laws. Avoid unnecessary information that is not relevant to the visa application process. Last but not the least, carefully review all the instructions and requirements and make sure to bring all the necessary documents to the visa interview. This will demonstrate your level of commitment and preparedness. So guys, now that you've heard Surat's superb responses, I'm hoping that you aren't going to make similar mistakes. But if you're still confused or have any questions related to studying abroad, then just put them in the comment section below and we'll be happy to answer each and every one of them. Also, if you're targeting any of the top schools abroad, I would strongly suggest you to go ahead and book a free consulting session with our experts and we can guarantee you an admission abroad. And if you like this video, do give it a thumbs up and do not forget to hit the subscribe button. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 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 I'